So let's get this show started. And I have my first guests here in the studio. Sofia Jansson, Creative Director at Moving Characters. Welcome. Lovely to be here. And James Sandra, Sambra, Head Designer at, for this whole initiative, Reading, Writing and the Movements, and also a member of the board at Moving Characters. So great to have you in the studio to talk about this initiative. And I want to start with you, Sofia, by asking uh, about the idea behind this initiative to enhance reading and writing. Where did it come from? Well, it's sort of funny because we're, we're, we're talking about reading and writing being uh, our theme, but actually it's of course at the center of Tuve's legacy and has been all along and will be in, in the future. But really about a year ago, we were looking at some letters that Tuve had designed um, as uh, the sort of as a picture at the beginning of a word in, in one of her novels. And we like them so much. They're so cute and so appealing. Mm -hmm. We thought we need to do something around her letters because yeah. she was very creative with her handwriting and different uh, letters to express different emotions and, and things like that. And so we decided to really focus on furthering the love of reading and writing and, and trying to sort of add to everybody's effort to open up how wonderful a tool language is. Mm. That language really is the key to uh, furthering uh, or building a future, furthering yourself in life. Uh, and, uh, and also it can bring so much happiness. Mm. Because with, you know, understanding text or being having a large vocabulary, uh, you get in touch with your emotions, your thoughts, uh, concepts. And of course, we heard a lot of reports about young people basically losing their language because the world is going digital. Mm. And I just thought, oh my God, if the next generation will be without the joys of reading all those stories, all that knowledge that, for example, I as an individual have amassed mm. through reading and then losing the skill to express those thoughts or emotions in writing. That would be disastrous. Yeah. But of course, it's a huge concept because we really want to enforce literacy, help people to, you know, have a better future acquiring this tool, mm. language and and, and of course there's several also charity organizations that jumped on board in this initiative. We'll meet them later in the program. So Sophia mentioned a little bit about the background, what kind of uh, original art these uh, letters uh, are based on. But could you tell us a little bit more? So there's two different alphabets, novels and map. Yeah, there are two different alphabets. So, so as Sophia mentioned, in addition to being a, a, a great writer and a fantastic illustrator, Tuve also um, created a, a set of, of different unique alphabets and lettering for her, um, both for her movie novels, um, picture books, and also in the comics. Mm. So we uh, chose two of these to kind of further develop, uh, one being the, the movie novels alphabet, and, and that's other, based on Mumi Papa's memoirs, right? That's, or that's based on the yeah on the um, kind of uh, letter illustrations, so-called drop caps that are at the beginning of every. That, that's a very specific. Thing. Yeah. So it's like in the beginning of a chapter. Yeah, right? at the beginning yeah. of, of 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 the first word of every chapter in the original uh, uh, exploits of of, of Mumi Papa. Yeah. Yeah. So from there, we we kind of found the inspiration for the novels alphabet. Yeah. And we gathered the. Uh, the kind of existing originals that we could get our hands on. And then we expanded the alphabet to include all of the rest of the letters. Yeah, and every letter has one of the characters. So every letter, yeah, is this kind of uh, mix of illustration and lettering where, where a character is combined with a letter. So we have these very kind of playful full, uh, combinations. So um, after kind of defining the style of the, the letters themselves, where we try to stay uh, very kind of true to the originals and create a, a, a set of of letters that have a more of a kind of hand drawn lettering feel to them, as opposed to a kind of very very sleek and finished uh, typeface. Mm. So they have this kind of very uh, hand drawn feel to them. 
then we combine these with, with different characters. Mm. So we, we... And then you also created patterns and other kind of artwork. We, I, I think it was in the stream rolling we saw the examples yeah, of that. Yeah, so the, the alphabets form the kind of uh, base of everything that we've, we've been doing artwork-wise with this initiative. Uh, but um, with these letters we can make all kinds of different artworks which we, we have and, and with different uh, partners uh, and uh, licensees we can create a, a lot of different uh, lovely visual artwork using these, these alphabets. Mm. And there's of course a lot of upcoming products using these that will come in the, in the coming years. We'll talk about them a little bit later in the stream. Uh, so I actually want to ask you, James, you are also Sofia's son and she's the niece of Tove Jansson. I guess you've been marinated in moving, book, moving books as a child. But do you have a favorite one now as an adult? Well, now, right, right at this moment, uh, I'd, I'd have to say uh, Moominland Midwinter mm. <laughs> would, would it be the... It does feel like we live in that yeah, book yeah. right now. Especially this year, we've been, we've been very lucky with the winter here in Finland. Yeah, there's we've snow had, uh, up to here. Uh, yeah, a, a lot of snow and very cold temperatures. So we've really got that kind of uh, uh, magical feel of winter, that kind of otherworldliness that is, is very present in, in Moominland midwinter, yeah. kind of waking up to a, to a completely different world. And, and there are also uh, a, a, a lot of very kind of active hemulence this, this year out, <laughs> skiing and skating every day. Maybe, maybe a bit too active. Yeah, and that's my favorite, the guy with the, the horn who yeah, comes down yeah. the slopes and likes to winter bait. Yeah, I'm sitting at home, cozy, cozy <laughs> by the fireplace, reading. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us and telling us about this initiative and the process behind it.